All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And female A warp is definitely canon. And it's weird. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. It's not that sort of video. I'm not gonna go into the whole, oh, it's not historically accurate. There, there were no women running around and killing people. I don't care about that. I honestly don't. Because in a series where we are jumping off of huge high points and diving into a haystack, in a series where there are gods present in the world, in a series where we have pieces of Eden, I don't think it's that much of a stretch for a woman to be here. It's fine if a woman is there. It's just that it's the way she has been done that I find weird. And I will amply justify this statement in the rest of the video. Now, as far as female Eivor being canon, yes, she is definitely the canon version. There is no male Eivor. And the reason why I say that is right on your screen, like right now, there should be a clip playing where it essentially says that it's, you know, the two chieftains of the clan are uh, Sigurd Stirbjörnsson, which is Sigurd, of course, and the other one is Eivor Varen's daughter. Now, that thing does not change if, even if you pick male Eivor. Even if you have played the whole game as male Eivor, that thing is not going to change. That is still going to say Eivor uh, Varen's daughter. So, yeah, that confirms that female Eivor is, in fact, canon. Now on to the weird stuff. Now, why do I feel like this is weird? It is because Ubisoft made it out to me. Ubisoft said, like Gabby McDevitt says, and I I respect the guy. He said that both versions of Eivor were canon, which technically, yes, because technically the male version of Eivor in this simulation is Harvey. So yes, technically it is true, but let's be honest, it's female Eivor which was canon. So therefore, it is all the more shocking and appalling that she is the one that gets the least amount of attention. Like, even if you look at the game, like, okay, I'm going to go into spoiler territory here. Uh, but later on in the video, I'm going to tell you exactly when the spoilers are coming so that you can skip that part. But right in the beginning, I would say this is a nitpick. This particular point at number one is a nitpick. But none of the armors fit female Ava. I don't know if they've patched it with the recent one. I don't think they have, but if they have, that's good. But before this patch, if I can show you the footage, the armor sets, female Eivor, with female Eivor, all the armor sets clip through her. Like, not through her, but clip through each other. Like, no matter what cloak you're wearing, no matter what armor piece you're wearing, most of it clips through. But you equip the same armor on male Eivor and it works perfectly fine. Now, you can't sit here and tell me that a team that was dedicated to pushing this game out did not notice this. I am sorry, but I noticed this in my first time I looked at it. And that is one of the main reasons why I switched from female Eivor to male Eivor halfway through the story. A, I kind of preferred the voice acting of male Eivor, but no offense to the female actress, but I just preferred it more. And also, because of the clipping issue. Now, I usually, I play at the lowest qualities because I have a 1050Ti for fuck's sake. But things like this really bother me. If there's clipping or something, it just really bothers me. Especially if something is happening continuously. That's why I don't really wear the hidden one set because the cloth moves around weirdly. I, that, that kind of, you know, triggers me almost. So, yeah. So, with that, that is one of the reasons why I even switched to the male Eivor in the first place. Because if I hadn't switched, I wouldn't have known how good the voice acting was. The one reason that I did switch is because I wanted to check this. And yes, I was right. So that is one reason. Now, of course, moving on to the second reason. And this is the spoiler part. If you don't want to hear this, skip like two minutes into the future. And you can watch it from that point. Out. So, of course, the second reason is the whole reincarnation thing. Now, you look at all the reincarnated issues. Half the Nyarl is Thor. I'm not quite sure on that, but I, I have heard it from a friend. Uh, then there is uh, Loki as Basim, uh, Odin as Eivor, uh, Tyr as Sigurd, uh, and Freya as Swala. Of all of these characters, which is the one that stand out, stands out to you? Which is the odd one? It's Eivor. Because Eivor is the only character that doesn't resemble the ones they reincarnated. The female Eivor doesn't resemble Odin who was reincarnated. Like all of the other uh, Isu slash human uh, reincarnates, they do resemble their Isu counterpart, but female Eivor just doesn't. 
more importantly all of them retain their gender except for female labor and hell this is not something just in valhalla if you consider the fact that they basically went through the same process as the sage did as aita did of course aita was when the process went wrong slightly but aita went through the same process and he never came out to be a female sage like he has reincarnated so many times in history but i don't think there is any recorded instance of that sage being a female so why then is only avor the female one and even more surprising is that there is a very easy fix for this you just select a different deity if just don't select odin select freya and you are done maybe have odin be a reincarnation have a different character be a reincarnation of odin and let female avor be the reincarnation of freya and voila that part is fixed i don't understand why that wasn't the case i mean yes freya is not exactly the warrior goddess but it she is still a god for fucking she would have worked i don't know i it just feels very weird to me at least it feels very weird um that is of course the second point now moving on to the third in the third point it's not the lore reasons it's not even the game it's just the way ubisoft is run it almost feels like when ubisoft was happening the having that those horrible few months in terms of pr they went like oh we we probably should make female a or canon just so that we can get people off our backs and they just did that because this feels like a last minute decision this doesn't feel like they had this in mind while designing the game because she just doesn't fit it and i said already all they needed to do if they wanted to have a uh, female a or as a character make her the reincarnation of freya i don't understand why they didn't do that i don't understand it at all so all that said i just feel like they have handled they have mishandled this character in a way like i played odyssey in odyssey cassandra was the canon character and i played as cassandra the whole game and it never felt weird it never felt out of place with cassandra because the stories that were being told were very much geared towards cassandra but in this game it feels very much like they are geared towards male avor except the female avor is canon it doesn't make much sense so anyway that's what i feel if you do have some counterpoints you are free to express those in the comments down below in fact please do express those in the comments down below i love interacting with people and well that's that really so that said if you do like the like this video consider pressing that like button and do subscribe to my channel for more content because yes i do make content like this uh so yeah that's about it so i'll leave you guys in peace